This is chapter two, elementary programming, programming exercise six. Sum the digits in an integer. So we're going to write a program that reads an integer between zero and 1000 and adds all the digit in the integer. For example, if an integer is 932, the sum of all its integer is 14. To do this, we're going to use the modulus operator to extract the digits and use the divide operator to remove the extracted digits. So for example, if we have 932, 932 multiplied by 10, the result is 2. So it's the very last number right here when you're modding it, modding it by 10. But when you're dividing it by 10, 932 divided by 10 is equals to 93. So the easiest way to remember this is for division, how many times does 10 go into this 932? It goes into this 932 93 times. But when you're modding, what is the remainder after you divide this number by 10? So 932 divided by 10, the remainder is 2. So that is the easiest way for me to remember it, right? Mod, look for remainder. Divide, look for how many times it goes into this number. Now, for example, run when we do this on the console is that the console is going to ask the user to enter a number between 0 and 1000. So the user could enter a number like 999. And then behind the scene, the console, the, the program will do the calculation and then throw out an output. So the sum of the digits is 27 because 9 plus 9 plus 9 is 27. So how are we going to do that? Well, we could do that in four simple steps. First, we're going to display the message, which is enter number between 0 and 1000. Next, we're going to input the value 932. We're going to give 932 to the program, as in this case, it would be 999. But for us, we're going to give 932 to the program, and we're going to store this 932 as a variable called number. So now this number is equal to 932, right? Next, we're going to calculate the sum of each digit. We're going to calculate, we're going to add 9, we're going to add 2 with 3, which is 5, 5 with 9, which is 14. So that's the sum. And then we're going to display the result as 14. All right, so first off, let's start with the easy step. Step 1, display the message, which is enter number between 0 and 1000. All right, so let's see, 2018-12-10. All right, so we're going to say system.out.print enter a number between 0 and 1000. Okay, and then when we run that, that's what the program is going to do. It's going to output this message right here enter a number between 0 and 1000. So we're done with step one. Now step two is input a value. For us, we're gonna input 932, all right? So for that 932, we're gonna to have to store into a variable called number. We'll call it whatever you want, but for me, I'll call it number. And I'm gonna create that value, uh, that variable as an integer, because I know that my end result is going to be a whole number. It's not gonna be a decimal or floating point number. So there's no need to create a larger data type for that. I'm going to say number. And of course, in order to be able to read the input from the console, we're going to have to create a scanner type uh, data type. And we're going to call that variable input equals new scanner system dot in. All right. So we're going to scan the variable after we display this message over here. We're going to have this variable called number and it's going to store that value that we scan. So be input dot next int. Okay, because we're expecting an integer input and we're going to store that integer input into this variable called number. So when we run that, first thing we we'll get is of course this message right here, enter number between zero and 1000. And then it's going to expect a number. So we're enter 932, click enter. And that number is going to be stored inside this variable called number. And this number now holds the value 932 until the program finishes. All right, 
So now for step three. Now that is the meat of this exercise, the trick, the tricky part for this exercise. All right, so before we do this, let's look out for a few possible things uh, that we should notice when we're doing this. All right, number one, uh, let's assume that the smallest number that the user can input is one, and the largest number that the user can input is 999. So if the user can only input if the user can only input a number between 0 and 1000. So any numbers between 0 and 1000 is All right. So any number between 0 and 1000 is a possibility for this program. So we have to prepare for such cases. So if the user enter 1 we have to prepare for that scenario. If the user entered 999, we have to prepare for that scenario. And if the user enter any other number between 0 and 1000, we have to prepare for that scenario. So how we write our program, we have to be ready to catch all possible cases. So what is the minimum amount of time we have to use the uh, modulo operator and the division operator for the inputted number. Well, if the user only entered the number one, then we would just have to mod the number once. All right, any number that's a single digit, then you just have to mod it once to get it the final result. But if you if the user enter a three a triple digit number such as 999, then we have to mod the number three times. Have to mod it one, two, three, to get all three numbers, to break it down three times, and then to add it together. So uh, if we have 932, we have to break 932 to a two to grab that two in the end. Then we also have to grab that three in the, at the end, and then the nine, and we have to add it all together. So let's see how we do that. And that could be done uh, through this visual right here. All right, so first we have the number. Let's say the number we have is 932. Now 932, and we also have another variable called sum, and that's going to hold the final, uh, the sum of all of each three digit. So we have 932. The final result should be 14 uh, for the sum. Now how do we get to it? First, we're going to have to calculate the sum. We're going to have to grab the first digit, the last digit at the end right here, the two. And to do that, we could say sum plus number modded by 10, which is basically saying zero because sum is at default at zero plus 932, which is number modded by 10. So 932 modded by 10 the result is two. Zero plus two equals to two. So now we got our first number, right? 932 modified by 10 is two, and that's how we got our first number. So let's write that in our program to get a visual. Uh, of course, before we do that, create a value called sum, and we're going to set a initial value to it, zero. Um, that'll be the default value, all right? So now, Let's say that the user entered 932 as number. Now to get the first number at the end, which is the two, it will be sum plus number modded by 10. All right, and let's get a visual on that. System.out.print um, sum equals sum. I'm going to run that. 932. So now sum is equal to 2. Initially, sum is equal to 0. But because we mod number, which is 932 by 10, we grab the last digit and we add it to sum. All right. Now, how do we get this 3 right here? Because number is now 3. I mean, sorry, number is still 932. But if we mod it again by 10, we'll still get 2. All right, so once again, let's get a visual on that. All 
right? Sum is equals to 2. Number is equals to 932. Our end goal, sum of all three digits, is 14. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 9 is 14. Now, to get the next number, 3, we will have to try to mod it. But before we can mod it, we have to get rid of this 2. So how do we get rid of this 2? That will be our next step here. To get rid of this 2 and just to get 93, we will have number equals to number divided by 10. Remember, divide will allow us to get the result of how many times 10 goes into 932. 10 go into 932 93 times. So number equals number divided by 10, which is saying number is equals to 932 divided by 10. 932 divided by 10 is equals to 93. And we set that 93 to now be equal to new number value. So that's what we're going to do right here. All right. We'll just simply say number equals to number divided by 10. And let's run that again. 932. And now there we go. We got sum is still equal to 2 because there was no change. And number now equals to 93. All right. Perfect. So now we could grab that 3 and we could add it to the sum, which will be our very next step. To get three to to get this three once again, we uh, we'll mod it by ten, but we also have to add it to our sum. So we'll say sum equals to sum, which is two plus ninety three modded by ten. Two plus ninety three modded by ten is saying it's like saying two plus three, because ninety three modded by ten mod means to divide it and get the remainder. The remainder of 93 divided by 10 is 3. Now 2 plus 3 is equals to 5. So now that is our next uh, sum value. Okay, so now for our next step, let's put a little bit of space so we can see that. Sum plus, or actually same step right here, sum plus number modded by 10. Run that again. This time we have sum equals 5 because before it was 2 um, 2 plus 3 is now 5 but number is still the same and now we continue on to our next step All right our next step once again uh, number is still 93 we want to add the final number which is the 9 so the final number which is 9 how do we get rid of this 93 to get the 9 divided divided by 10 number divided by 10 and set that result to the new number. So now number divided by 10 is like saying 93 divided by 10 because that's the next, that's what uh, the current value is. 93 divided by 10, well 10 goes into 93 nine times, so therefore the result is nine. Nine is now the new value for number and sum remains the same as five. All right, so same thing, repeat the same step. Enter that, paste that there, and run that again. 932. And now we got the sum is 5 and the number is 9. So by now you should notice the, uh, the little repetition right here, the little trick right here. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, right? Finally, now that we have our 9, now that we could get our 9, we could simply just add 9 with our sum. So 9 plus 5. So now the new sum is um, the new sum is uh, uh, 5 plus 9 minus by 10. Uh, 5 plus 9 minus by 10, 9 minus by 10, the remainder is 9. So 9 plus 5 is 14. And that is our solution. All right. Um, so we just copy this again and click and paste it right here. And finally, we don't really need this anymore. We'll say uh, the sum is a sum of the sum of all 
the digits is sum. All right, and let's see. So the sum of all the digits is 14. 9 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 9 is 14, and that is our solution. Now, like I said before, in case of the user entering one number, what happens if the user enter only one number? Click 1, click Enter, and perfect. This right here still works. The sum of all the digits of 1 is still 1. And what if I enter two numbers? The sum of these two numbers, 1 plus 5, is 6. Now, of course, why does that work? Simply because right here, it allows for it to uh, calculate it without giving any errors. Uh, so that's the tricky part. Usually, uh, people who just start this uh, or start learning will have trouble uh, solving for those cases. And um, what I would recommend you do is look a little closer, mess around with this a little to get a better understanding why this work, why this solve all the issue. Well, if the user only enter one number, two number, or three number. What if the user enter no number, a, 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 a zero? Or what if a user enter a number that is longer than three digits? Will this work? Will it not? And if it doesn't work, how will you solve it? All right. So that will be it for this exercise.